Hi, Irfan here with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension. I want to give a quick tutorial on how to use the IR4 Project database. So the IR4 Project is a federally funded program that as a part of what they do is help bring some uh, new pesticides to the green industry. And uh, so every single year, there are a bunch of us applied entomologists from across the country that are subcontracted to do research trials to determine both efficacy, so against a certain target pest, but also determine crop safety, so make sure there's no phytotoxicity on the target plant. Now, you can actually access all of the data to, from this database. It's, it's open and uh, free to access. You go to this ir4project.org. When you're on that website, right now there's this uh, special box up at the top dealing specifically with COVID and things in 2020. This is not usually here. So this website might look a little bit different by the time you visit it. But if we scroll on down, you will see this box called Program Databases. And the one that you're going to be interested in in horticulture is this one that says Environmental Horticulture. If we select that, it'll tell you some general information about what this database is. And as we go on down, here is the general search. So here you can choose by specific crop, the research target, the product. This is actually by trade name of the pesticide, the product site. So if you want to look only for greenhouse or uh, you only want to look in interior plantscapes or so on and so forth. And protocol number, which I'd say don't worry about because that's a little bit more specific to the type of trial. So that's not all that important in this case. But let's say we're looking for insecticides that work well against Western flower thrips. So we might go into here and you'll notice if I just start typing, it'll kind of scroll through that for me. And you can see there is no just general thrips. So you have to go down to somewhat specific species level. So I'm going to search Western flower thrips and here we go. Here's our target. If we hit search research data and here it is, you can see this database is quite extensive. Uh, it is quite large. So you can scroll through all of this and um, as a fun read to get some good information. But just in general, you can see here it gives you, you know, that um, the research target that we've searched, the crop it was tested on, and then the specific product and the production site. And here on the far, uh, actually here under um, kind of the trial status and the results, it'll give you a quick little summary of what they found. And you can look at the full data, the full protocol and the full findings by clicking on these PDFs on the far right. So let's just look at some examples here. Um, if I'm looking at, let's say, Grandivo, right? So Grandivo against Western flower thrips. This is on butterfly bush. In this trial, they found significantly reduced immatures only with the higher rate applied five times weekly. If we look uh, down here, go a little bit further. Now, let's say just one study is usually not enough to determine if something is very effective. So I can actually search. I'm doing a web page search here for Grandivo. You'll notice it's a little bit uh, tricky here because this, these results are in a window in this window. If I search it up here, it'll give me zero results. But then when I scroll down into this window, it gives me these five results. So a little bit tricky to navigate here. That's just a little uh, trick or tip for you. You'll know this, this other study as well, also from Louisiana, significantly reduced number of nymphs, um, inferior to Botanicard. If we go on, now we can see this one. There are one, two, three, four other studies. And these ones all show poor to no control. All right, and that's why it's really important to look at several studies if you can. One is usually not quite enough because there might seem be some anomalies, or in this case, on marigold, it shows that it does not work that well. So maybe it's the, the crop that it's on. And so that can help inform you a little bit more about whether that's going to be a reliable insecticide. There might be some that will work you know, regardless of the, the plant that it's on. Uh, if we go a little bit further, you can see here another Grandivo, and this is on rows, no significant uh, decrease, and even one more on Transvaal Daisy, and also no significant decrease. So that's, again, where you might want to decide, well, 
that as compared to some other insecticides, whether you want to use it or not. Let's look at Hachi Hachi as an example. So we can see here, delayed, excellent efficacy, good initial control. Again, I can search Hachi Hachi through my web browser. You can see there are 35 studies here. So there's gonna be a lot of data that we can go through. Significantly reduced. Uh, here we go. This one uh, was, you can see this trial was actually canceled. So that data is not present in there. Here uh, again, let's see, Hachi Hachi, significantly reduced. Uh, let's go on to one more maybe. Another Hachi Hachi under continuous reinvasion by migrant thrips in this trial, no treatment provided significant control. So that means in this particular one, uh, it was perhaps uncaged or uncontained, and they had constant reinvasion of thrips. Might have been from the untreated check right next to it, or it might have been they were in a field right next to some other potential sources of thrips. And so uh, maybe it didn't have very good residual or, or uh, it doesn't prevent thrips from reinfesting. So again, that can help kind of inform what kind of insecticides you might want to use in your rotation. So that's kind of a quick little summary of you know, some of the uses of this IR4 database. Again, you can always run a different search. If you want to look up a specific product on Western flower thrips, you can do that as well. So let's say uh, Pradia is a relatively new product from OHP. We can hit search and you can see because it's very new, there are very few trials on it, but there are two. It says excellent control, you can see in 2018 and in 2019, effective control. So just based on those two studies so far, it seems to be promising on marigolds. And so that's something just to keep an eye on. You might check back on periodically to see whether that's something that still works reliably. I hope that's been helpful for you to help you decide what kind of insecticides you want to use uh, in your rotations and find other insecticides that perhaps you weren't familiar with. And also, more importantly, to see whether there's actually some good data, some reliable data um, to demonstrate efficacy.